Good afternoon. This is Linda K. And it is Saturday, March the 18th of 2023. The weather outside is sunny, snowy, and very cold. It is only 20 degrees outside, Fahrenheit above zero. This is flight tube number 40. And as of today, I have 271 subscribers. Thank you all so very much for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all of you for taking the time out to comment on my video, subscribing, and watching my videos. And the last time I recorded was November the 16th of 2022. The reason why that is because life got in the way, medical issues, and so forth. <coughs> now I'm drinking my large mocha frappe. It's almost gone. Without the whipped cream and the chocolate drizzle. Uh, this is the third time now that I've tried to record this video. So let's see how well this goes. Because the first time was in my craft room using my iPad it stopped when I was almost finished and then I recorded here in my office that stopped when I was almost finished so I don't know what's going on I, I'm about ready to give up um, I have whips and hauls so, so First whip that I have to show you. Hang, hang on a minute. I gotta be wearing some stuff here. Hang on a second. And I'm hoping that I'm gonna do the video without stopping. Because I'm getting frustrated. Okay. Sorry about the little rant there. Um. Okay, the, the first one is Nant Nantucket Rose, and it's a lavender and lace pattern. The designer artist is Marilyn Leva Emblem, and here's what it looks like. I'm doing this on a 28 count flat castle linen, two over two, 28 count, and here's what it looks like. I'm doing, I'm, I'm touching the green right now. And then, next one is the Heaven Earth Design card. It's a new start for me. And it's called Many Hours in a, in a Dollar Dream. Your artwork is by Jasmine Becker Griffith and it's taught by Heaven and Earth Designs. And here's what she looks like. And I throw it in the upper left hand corner. And I'm doing this on 18 count 
using two strands over one square full cross. And I'm doing my own gritting. And I use the Saki metallic threads and the 8000 number range from um, Joanne Fabric. You can get them and you can get them from Amazon. My next whip I called Kitchen Visitor by Pamela Kellogg. I'm doing this on 14 count light blue Ada Swigert base fabric. That's what I got done. I don't have that much more to do on it. This is gonna be my next finish after I get uh see the day done. And I love all the projects I'm working on. Here's my next one. See the day. And the top part of this. Oh, come on here. The top part of this is done. Whoops, going the wrong way, Linda K. So I got all this done. So now I should got to do the very bottom section, this right here. The blue, the blue, white, and the orange. And, and then the very bottom long can't hardly see it but there's a long line of dark brown thread so I should got the very bottom to do it with the result done I'm doing this on 14 count dirty Ada. And here's my progress. And I'm using the hand dyed threads that it called for. And I have worked on six projects since, well, no, actually five. And then my last one is a new start. Oh. Hang on a minute. I'm having a problem here. Okay. Um, as soon as I find the picture, it's called, um, Princess Parade, and it's by Country Cottage Needleworks, and the series is called Country Cottage Kids, and this is number seven, chart number seven. And 
here is my little tiny start. The purple. Can't hardly see it, but that's what I got done on it. And if you're going to use Dirty Ada fabric and, and you use a crew snap, make sure that you put a um, crap piece of fabric underneath your clamps because otherwise it's going to leave a white mark like it did on mine right here. You can't hardly really see it, but that right there. Because for some reason the clamp makes white marks on dirty Ada fabric and, and, and also on black fabric as well. I discovered that the hard way. I have worked on one, two, three, four, five projects since November of, of last year. Now it's time for the haul. Okay. First one is Mouse Mouse's Beach Art Mouse's Beach Arting by Tiny Moderness. And you can get this on one, two, three stitch. The next one is by Burnett Road, Maryland Leave an Emblem, and it's called Feathers and Friends. And this is number one, I think, that she designed. That she designed and made it into a pattern. And I really miss her patterns. Her being alive, designing. She's a great designer artist in her time. Next one I got is Sea Glass by Carolyn Manning Designs. Next one I got is Early Bird Coffee by Imagining and it's chart number 3392. The artist designer is Gil Butsy and, and it's Early Bird Coffee. And I love it. It's so colorful. It has birds, flowers, coffee cup with a saucer, hearts, the moon, I love this. Then the next one is Falling Snow by Shannon Christine Designs. I love this. One of my favorite charts. And then I finally got the rest of the charts from Tiny Modernist Designs. And I caught a year of animal fun and frolic. Frolic. Doing all this. Okay. Here are January's. February's. March. April. 
April. May. And I'm going to do these as well, but I'm not going to do them all in one. June. July. August. September. October. November. And December. So I finally got all of those. And the uh, the ones that had the plastic covering on them, I had to uh, get them from the designer herself off of her Etsy shop. So I got those. And then I also got <clears throat> Most of the Year in the Woods chart by Kylie Garden uh, samplings. This is the box. Number two is the Swans. Number three is the Jack Rabbit. Number four is the raccoon. Number five is the ferret. Number six is the bear. Number seven is the bald eagle. Number eight is the barn owl. So I only have four more to to uh, get from this series, and then I will have all, all those. So I'm gonna get off the rest of them next month. So that's okay. And I got the rest of the Pretty Kitty Monthly Series by Brita Cup Designs. And I, and I get most of my charts from 1, 2, 3, Ditch. Uh, this is January and February. February and March. Wait a minute. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. And November, December. So I got all of those. I'm, and I'm going to be doing those on separate um, pieces of fabric as well. So. That is all that I have to show you. And I think I finally made it through this whole video without it stopping. So I will thank you for subscribing, commenting, watching my videos, and I'm on, I'm starting next week. I'll be making one 
uh, making a video like once a week or once every two weeks. So I will talk to you all later. Have a very wonderful day. Have a good testing week or two. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.